So building Nugget, we're going to actually not be building AOSP this time. Uh, we've built that before. Uh, let's move on to something more interesting. Uh, one of my personal favorites is AOKP, the Android Open Kang project. Uh, you can see here that uh, I've got uh, you know a blank, uh, blank slate here. We're going to make our directory for the bin. We're going to add our uh, path to the bin. We're going to be downloading the repo tool. We're going to be chmod A plus X to make it executable so we can use it um, and use repo init repo sync. Uh, again, if you need more information on that, please go back and take a look at the marshmallow and nugget video, or excuse me, marshmallow and lollipop videos where we talked about that before. Um, I don't want to keep boring you with the same information over and over again. But I just need, need to know that, yes, we're setting up our system for building. We're using the AOSP uh, setup guide just to get ready. And now we're going to um, download our source code for AOKP. So let's jump on the uh, internet here. And uh, we can just do a Google search for AOKP platform manifest. Once again, talked about manifest before heavily in uh, Lollipop and Marshmallow, um, but just the manifest file is the list of all the projects that you need to download in order to build that version of Android. So we're on the Nugget branch on their GitHub page, and we see that they have wonderful instructions for us right here. So we're gonna make a directory. We're gonna call it uh, nugget uh, AOKP. We're gonna change directory and go into that directory we just made. And we are going to use repo init to set up or initialize our repository of projects for the nugget branch of AOKP. There we go, it's initializing. Writing down the different tags and things that's gonna go get. And now we're just gonna use our repo sync. Now notice they, they have suggested you use force sync. That's fine, it's just saying I wanna force overriding anything that was in the directory with this. And here we go. So we're syncing all that source code so we can get ready to build. And uh, once again, if you have slow internet like me, this is the process that's gonna take 10 or 11 hours. If you have faster internet, this might be done in 45 minutes. So uh, sit back, enjoy yourself, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll start building when it's done.